Hello everyone, in this particular example of arithmetic mean, I will be discussing the missing frequency problem. So problem is right in front of me. Though I have already discussed a much complicated problem in which two frequencies were missing. So this is a little simple problem. You can refer to the previous video in which two frequencies were missing. See, this is the problem right in front of me. Find missing frequency from the following data if arithmetic mean is 24. So I have been given with the arithmetic mean x bar that is 24. And this is the data which has been given. There are classes 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 to 40 to 50. I know the frequency of first class, second class. The frequency of third class is missing, which has been represented by a letter F here. Then the next class has a frequency 4 and next class has a frequency 2. So it's not a very complicated problem. It's a very easy problem. Uh, let's start with the things. We will use. We'll be using the same fundamental concept of arithmetic mean. So first of all, we will be calculating x because we know the formula for arithmetic mean x bar is summation of fx divided by summation of f. So I need first of all fx and then I need summation of f. So let's start with this particular thing. First of all, we will be calculating x, x which is midpoint. I am repeating it. I have uh, said it several times in previous videos also. So x would be upper limit of the class 10 plus lower limit of the class divided by 2. So the first value of x is going to be 5, 0 plus 10 divided by 2. Then 20 plus 10 divided by 2 is going to give me 15. Similarly, 30 plus 20 divided by 2 is going to give me 25, 35 and same way it is 45. So I have calculated midpoints. Now I will be calculating the fx here. What is going to be fx? The first value is going to be 3 times 5 that is 15. Second is 4 times 15, that is going to be 60. My next value is, value is 25 times F1, F sorry, that becomes 25 of F. The next is 35 times 4, which goes to 140. And then 45 times 2, which becomes 90. Now I have completed my table and uh, rest of the things are pretty simple. So I am calculating total here. The first total is sum of f, that means total of frequencies. So if you can sum them, 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 4 plus 2. So that gives me 13 plus f. So you just sum the numericals and the variable or the missing frequency you sum like this. Here I am going to calculate sum of fx. So I am going to sum 60 plus 15 plus 140 plus 90. And then at the end, I'm going to add 25. So it is going to come out to be 305 plus 25 of F. So now things are pretty easy. I'm going to substitute all this stuff in the formula right here. And uh, okay, I'll just do this particular question here. So what I have here is, okay, I'll shift the sheet a little bit up. Now it's fine. So I have uh, X bar which is 24 given in the question you can see it that the arithmetic mean is 24 right here it is given 24 so i'm to substitute the values x bar is going to be 24 is equal to summation of fx that is 305 plus 25 of f divided by summation of f which is 13 plus f now what I do is I do a little cross multiplication that means 24 times 13 plus F is equal to 305 plus 25 of F. Now I'll take uh, multiply 24 inside the bracket 24 times 13 plus 24 times F so this gives me 312 plus 24 of F is equal to 305 plus 25 of f. I'll take f terms on one side that means uh, unknown terms and of course uh, the numerical terms on one side so this becomes 24 f minus 25 f is equal to 305 minus 312. So this is minus 1 f is equal to minus 7 that gets cancelled out and f is equal to 7. So I have calculated my frequency, missing frequency that is 7. So this frequency right here is, is equal to 7. 
you can cross check it like you can sum the values 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2 and uh, after that you can calculate arithmetic mean by substituting the value and the arithmetic mean should come out 24 in total so that's a little cross verification that you can do you can pause the video and see the problem right here thank you